Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a broken heart spread for the next month to three months. And in this message, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person, and we're going to see what's challenging the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy. In this part of the message, we're going to look at how they view the challenge. Anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, what their next move is going to be, where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's dive into Aries. Resolving a conflict reading. For May going into June. Most important message here for Aries. Spirit, what do my Aries friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Five of Cups, Knight of Staffs, and the Two of Staffs is the underlying energy. This is an energy of trying to move on, but not really feeling successful at it. Although you do have the Hermit here on the bottom of the deck as well. So I do feel like you are realigning yourself with your path, with your purpose, even if it seems like it's taking longer than it needs to. Okay. I'll also say to anybody who's watching you don't feel ready to do something then wait we'll see how all of this plays out into the reading and that's so interesting the knight of coins coming out in your energy here aries so the energy surrounding you at this time aries the knight of coins the temperance the ten of coins this is telling me that there is a need to have patience here with the process Okay, I do feel like there is a particular person in your life that you have recently walked away from or disconnected from because of how this person was treating you, how this person was interacting with you, and maybe even going behind your back and doing shady business. Okay, it was okay for you to do, to walk away, to protect your energy, to do what you needed to do to make yourself in a better position and a better energy and a better state of mind being and thinking okay i do feel like you were right when it comes to this person this five of coins energy tells me that this person was probably jealous they probably had in regards to money taking money or messed some things up in regards to business finances money and so it was important for you to protect yourself through this energy, okay? It's no more questioning. No more questioning walking away. You did what you needed to do. Have patience with yourself through this process. Let's say this was like a person who you had a relationship with and you were intertwined in business and you needed their help when it came to business, but they were toxic relationship-wise, it's okay to shut that door knowing Aries that that relationship is going to be replaced with someone that is in better alignment with what you want for your future how else will you align yourself with something better if you're still holding on to the past okay and I do feel like this person had dug their own hole you know dug their own grave Justice was served. However, there was still an intensity to this connection. Okay, I feel like it was more than just business. And that also makes it hard to detach. Again, having patience with yourself through this process will be important. Intuitively, Aries, even though you felt the intensity of this connection, you knew that it was time. You knew that 
you needed space at this time. You knew that you had to walk away in order to recalibrate the energy. There was just something intuitively that you knew that you had to walk away and protect yourself. You are being rewarded through this process. So lean into that trust aspect of this. You intuitively knew that there was something off with this person. I want to dive a little bit deeper into this person's energy here, Aries. I want to see how they view the challenge, anything that's hidden, what their next move, where this is headed. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Aries person, how does Aries person view the challenge with Aries? Please and thank you, Spirit. I feel like they view you as having your wall up, having your guard up. You may have also told them that you need time to heal. You need time to recalibrate your energy, like you're working on something in regards to your future with this magician energy. Still a lot of things that are hidden, still a lot of things that maybe aren't meant to be known at this time with this moon energy that means that there's things that are hidden for a reason things that are meant to be kept secret at this time there is a need to lean into that trust but let's tap into the hidden energy and see what comes out for aries please and thank you anything hidden that aries needs to be made aware of I feel like this person wants to get even. There's a jealousy aspect to their energy. And they do want to get even. So, again, being mindful of this energy. That getting even energy isn't going to serve anybody's highest good. And I can only speak from personal experience. There's been times where I have been in that lower vibrational energy myself and the only positive aspect is I got instant karma. And so through that process, I was able to see the other side of the coin. A lot of people don't have the privilege of getting instant karma. Some, of, some people, it takes a minute to catch up to them. This person is in a very low vibrational energy. The reason this is coming out it's because it's important for you to understand why you feel so necessary to protect yourself from this person. And maybe this is something they've expressed to some of you. But just knowing that they're trying to get even, they think that there was, they were done wrong through this process. And so knowing that will help you to maybe even resolve conflict in the future. So let's take a look at what their next move is going to be. Through this process with Aries Spirit, please and thank you. What is this person's next move? Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, Page of Cups, that lover's energy. So they're, they're still feeling the intensity. I feel like they're waiting for the right timing. Divine, the Wheel of Fortune is the energy of divine timing. Okay. So this person is waiting for divine timing to come back around to offer you a new phase, maybe give you what you want in regards to marriage, maybe that was the problem. You wanted to get married, they didn't. And so that was the reason why this was off here. But I do feel like they want this to come together. They want to have a new beginning, to move into a new phase, to have a long-term relationship with you. So even though there's in this energy of getting even, try to have this understanding it's coming from a place of hurt okay that doesn't make it right i'm just saying what they perceive 
um, as the challenge here. Okay, so where is this all headed here, Aries, in this energy? Mm -hmm. It's okay to protect yourself, okay? Don't beat yourself up, up over that process, okay? But I do feel like there is a need to stand your ground, to have patience with this process. If you do feel an intensity to the connection with this person, there may be it at some future date, and maybe this is in the near future since this is coming up in the reading, that you and this person can sit down and have a conversation about this. And it will be up to you, Aries, whether you'll be open to that conversation, because I feel like this person had violated a boundary that you had set with them. And that's why you guys are currently in this position that you're in. Okay. Focus on your goals. Focus on the future. When the timing is right, this will come together if it's meant to come back together in the first place. Pull a few cards out here for your advice. Moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, ritual kits, sound baths, guided meditations, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Aries, I want you to protect yourself at this time from this person, at least for the month of May going into June. With the understanding they need some space, they need some time to let go of this lower vibrational energy. If you allow this person to come back in just as friends or friends with benefits to keep your distance but still involved, it is going to be burdensome. There is going to be some regret in regards to that. So the advice here, Aries, is to hold back for the month of May going into June. Allow this person a mental reprieve. Allow them to go through the process of feeling those negative emotions. So that way it doesn't affect you you or this connection long term okay there is going to be a time in the future where you and this person are going to come back together cross paths again have they learned the lesson have you learned the lesson needed to learn in order to move forward well it's going to be up to both of you balls in either court here's what i will say if you come back and cross paths in the same energy, doing the same thing, expecting the same result, you are going to get the same thing. So, and I don't want to force change. That just happens naturally over time unless you want to invoke that change quicker. If you do, you have to go through that process of self-discovery. That's where shadow work comes in. That's where healing modalities come in. That's where discovering yourself and realigning yourself with your purpose and your long-term vision. That's where all of that stuff comes in. But if you're not ready for that purpose, for that path, then it's not going to happen. And Aries, maybe this message, this part of the message isn't so much for you. Maybe this is more for a cross watcher type of energy. Take it as it resonates. But if you continue to deal with this person the same way, you're going to get the same results. So you, it's okay to have the same expectation. There is an intense connection here. And I do feel there is a natural process that will take place where you guys will naturally come back together. That can happen quicker if you guys go through that process of personal development, but it takes time takes energy it takes effort and you both have to be on the same page when doing that so take some time through this month into april really think about delve into your purpose what you want to do how you perceive this person in your life how they fit in long term all of that so that way when you guys cross paths again 
there's clarity to that conversation. Let's pull island time wellness message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Chaser. Chaser, codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. Then we have girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Then we have mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. And hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. The ball is really going to be in your court, but play into that divine timing as much as you can and take your time when allowing this person to come back around. Really make sure if the energy is shifted. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.